in this video i want to show you how to create rich cap like this in revit architecture without wasting your time let's get started okay to start creating your rich cap you first of all have a roof and preferably the roof can be by footprint so as i've gotten the roof now what i'm going to do is i will go to one of the elevation and i am going to copy the roof i will take it up by a certain distance like 2000 mm and press enter now that you have copied the roof you are going to go to one of the elevation now i am in the approach elevation so i can now edit this roof so what i will do is i'll go to the architecture tab and go towards my right hand side top right hand side you will see vertical opening here select it then you are going to select this roof and it will take you to the to any of the floor plans so you are going to select any of the floor plan preferably i will select the roof plan that i've created before okay i want to select where i will see the roof where i will see the roof let me uh -huh. now i can see the roof outline here okay so i am going to pick before i do that i need to do something first this roof has a um, hash and this hash will not allow me to pick the line as fast as possible so i'm going to deactivate the hash first so i will go edit under material i will edit the material so that it will not have hash so i uh, under the surface pattern i'm going to take it to no pattern so that it will be plain this way it will allow me to pick to pick the edges as fast as possible so now you can see it is plain now all right now that it is plain i cannot go to my texture tab pick my vertical opening then select the roof i cannot start my sketch i will use pick the offset should be 150 because the reach cap is 300 mm so i cannot pick this edge or pick this i will pick this pick this you you pick the then this one you pick make sure it goes inside it's supposed to go inside i will make it go inside by force you will not pick the value you only pick the reach Pick all the ridges. Okay. Yeah, you remain this one. Make sure you pick all the ridges. And then it's time to to pick the edges. Pick it all around. Pick all the edges. Okay, now I will be three minutes now, one after the other.
let me trim them so that there will be a continuous loop Please make sure you give me a rating so that the course will be able to go to make sure you give me a rating so that the course will be able to reach more people and it will encourage me to bring more course along your way. I'm going to complete this or you stream. That is how you do that type of edge. Okay, I'm sure we are we have completed. Let's finish it. Okay, now let's look at it in 3D and see what we have gotten. Okay, you can see the structure of the ridge cap. So what we are going to do now is we'll simply bring it down to sit on the roof you remember we moved it up by 2000 mm so now we can simply move it down and this time around it may not be 2000 mm again because it's going to be sitting on the roof so i can decide to move it down by 1800 and let's see the results oh no undo i am supposed to pick the make sure what you have picked is the roof and not the the sketch okay so we can now move it down by 1800 okay now you see it work let's see it in 3d of what we have just created okay we can see there's a little gap so we are still let me undo that or let me simply move it down by or oh, by 100 mm Mm -hmm. okay now you can see it is sitting on the roof directly okay okay there's something we need to fix here you see this edge is not staying well so for us to do that i am still going to edit it back And I'll go to this sketch and I'll go to any of the plan. Then I am going to extend it a little bit by 75. And I will use offset to do that. I'm not going to copy. Oh, sh I will extend all the edges backward so that it is going to extend 
farther than the the one that is under it this way that gap will be covered up the reason is like that is because this one is higher than the one that is lower that is why you have seen that gap okay so i, I will finish it then i am going to select the roof and edit the roof print then i'm going to offset them by 75 so that they go a little bit beyond their former position and we hope that it covers it this time around All right, let me finish the roof and let's see. Okay. Okay, we need to move it down a little bit. Let's go. Let's select this. Make sure it's roof you have selected and let's move it down manually without calculating the distance I want it to sit on this and I'll, I'll use the arrow to nudge it down a little bit okay now let's see it in 3d okay perfect this is exactly what we want okay this is exactly what we want so i will now select the roof you i'm sure you know that they have the same material so i'm going to bring the material uh, pattern back the hash pattern back so i will select the surface pattern and select the the former one what's the name of the pattern before it's under model mm and is a shake 150 that's the one we used before and hit okay okay again okay again all right let's go okay you can see the pattern has already come out perfect and that is it here we have our ridge cap i hope you enjoy watching this video if you do make sure you give me a feedback Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.